uh, we got, you know, basically the on the surface currents imagery, you uh, you show the direction and the speed of the currents uh, based on the these arrowheads and the length of the tail indicates uh, the longer the tail, the the faster the current. And when you get into these uh, really crazy colors, uh, you get into some a lot faster currents, so you know two, three, four knots. So here's the loop current way out here, and then here's a uh, pretty uh, pretty intense cyclone. It's a counterclockwise upwelling current. So the, the loop current and these warm core eddies that, uh, that spin off of it are these downwelling nutrient poor zones. So you could, if you're out in the middle of this fishing, you can be in some beautiful cobalt blue water fishing a, uh, a beautiful weed line and you'll be fishing the Dead Sea because there's no nutrients. It's the beginning of the food chain. And the pelagics are avoiding these areas that uh, don't have food. So for every action, there's a reaction. And when you're pushing this water down, well, that water's got to come back up. So one of the byproducts of the, the loop current and uh, the warm core eddies that spin off of it are these nutrient-rich upwelling cyclones, these counterclockwise currents that bring the nutrient-rich waters from the bottom of the ocean up to the surface and it interacts with sunlight and uh, is the beginning of the food chain. So uh, this is very bad over here in the, this area. This is very good. Of course, you'd have to look at your other uh, parameters to make a call on whether you want to venture that far out. It's pretty far out. Um, I also want to want to zoom out a little bit, just kind of get an overview of the region. And um, it's interesting to uh, to monitor the loop current. It's uh, it's been doing this for millennia, you know, millions of years. Um, I've just been monitoring it the last 15. Um, what we've been noticing the last few years is that it's vacillating. And uh, last year it's uh, a little bit higher than it is. So the year before, I believe it was totally uh, AWOL off of the image. It was not even in the, uh, uh, on the screen. And uh, uh, the year before that, and that's part of what you can do with Hilton, is go back on the archives and compare where these, what these uh, dynamic imageries are doing year to year. And um, this is a, a really key feature as to, uh, one of the key features as to why this is such a world-class fishery here off of Orange Beach. Uh, the proximity of the loop current uh, comes into the Gulf of Mexico between Yucatan and Cuba and it's trying to reach the delta, but never does. It turns to the east and then southeast and then exits the Gulf between Miami and Cuba and goes up and becomes the Gulf Stream on the east coast. Um, because of this, this is the primary generator of currents in the Gulf. Uh, and so it's constantly throwing these cyclones at the delta creating these nutrient-rich environments for growth and feeding. Uh, it just nurtures a, a, a really great fishery. Um, so if you want, you can, uh, you can save it. <clears throat> and um, in addition, you can, on the, some of these shots, you can hit loop image, and it'll take the last week's worth of shots and put it into motion. And you can see how these structures... Uh, kind of migrate around and uh, they build or, or decrease in intensity. And uh, you can actually save this as a uh, navigation chart. It's kind of cool navigating on a moving chart like this on your smart device. Uh, it's easy. It's, a, it's very user friendly. Uh, I can uh, pull it up offshore. We have uh, internet access to our sat phone. Uh, I use it for a lot of different things, uh, planning some tournament routes. I'll use it to get a, a basic distance, uh, on, and I'll use that on my fuel burn um, and where I need to be 
the beginning of the first day and where I need to be, try to be at the end of the, the last day so I can maximize what fishing uh, I can do during the tournament. We've got uh, several different tournaments here in the Gulf Coast. Some of them we've got uh, an 80 mile run to some good fishing grounds and some of them we have to run 130 miles before we ever start fishing. So. Uh, makes a big difference.